Hello and welcome to The Point from Navitin. This week we'll look at how you can save a document as a PDF. We'll look at two methods. One, Microsoft Office 2010's built-in PDF functions for creating PDFs of your Word, Excel, and other documents. And two, the PDF Creator application. And that's for creating PDFs of almost from any other program. Uh, first we'll look at Microsoft Office. Uh, both Microsoft Office 2007 and 2010 have the ability to save as a PDF built into the application. If you have an older version, you'll have to use the PDF Creator method that we'll talk about in a little while. In Office 2010, all you have to do is create your document. Here I've created a test document and then click File, Save As, and from the drop down button here where it says Save As Type, make sure that you choose PDF. I'm going to save right onto my uh, desktop and I'm going to save as a PDF with a file name of test. And if I click uh, this checkbox here, open file after publishing, it'll open the file in PDF Reader after I'm done saving, just so that I can see the result. So I'm going to click save, and you'll see that the test PDF opens up in the PDF Reader, and the test PDF document is right here on my desktop. So I'll close this out. And now I'll show you a method for creating a PDF for almost any other application. Uh, first we have to download and install the software. It's free software, uh, basically created um, just for anybody to use commercially or, or otherwise. Um, you can go to sourceforge.net slash projects slash PDF creator. And that address is up on the screen right now. And then you have to click the green download link to the right. I've already downloaded the software into my downloads folder right here. And then you just double click the installer, click run. I have to enter my administrative credentials. And we're going to choose English as the language. Basically, we accept everything at the default values. Um, with the exception of here, we're going to uncheck the box here to install the PDF Forge toolbar because that's unnecessary. We don't want to add anything extra. And just otherwise, everything, just leave it as the default options. The program will install. And then basically, from any application, we can create a PDF just by using the print function of the application, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment. Now, this is all done. We can click Finish. I'm going to close out of everything. And I'll just show you what it looks like to create a PDF using Notepad, which doesn't have the option by default to create a PDF. So now we'll just type in test. You can see that I can create the PDF just by clicking File, Print, and make sure that I select the PDF Creator Printer from the list of printers, and then just click Print. And a new dialog box will appear where I can choose the title of the PDF that I want to create. And then when I click Save, just leave everything else as the default. When you click Save, it will ask you where you want to save it. I'm going to select Desktop again. This time I'm going to do Test 2, and then click Save. You can see the new Test 2 document has been created with the PDF options. With that, we reach the conclusion of this week's issue of The Point. My name is Phil, writer and narrator of The Point. If you like what you've seen and want to receive The Point on a regular basis, please see our website, Navitend.com. You can find previous issues of The Point on our website. The link is below. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great week.